Mark, not good news for Intel. What does this mean? Yeah, hi, Millie. Thank you for, for having me. And yeah, just to touch upon the, the earlier discussion, this could actually be one of the contributing factors to, to Intel stock uh, being down most of the day, as much as 2% with the rest of the market, particularly tech stock surging. You know, Apple is not the biggest customer for Intel processors, but it's one of the biggest and most important brands. And so Apple switching away from Intel processors pretty much tells you everything you need to know about the status of the Intel CPU business. It means Apple feels like they found, you know, a, a better replacement for that. So it's significant from that perspective for sure. How long do you expect the transition to take, especially given the production disruptions due to COVID-19 and in general just how long it'll take uh, to get these new chips in place and the computers on the market? So when Apple did the transition to Intel processors 15 years ago, that took about a year and a half, two years. I think this is actually going to take a little bit longer. I think you're going to see quite a few years of Apple offering Macs with both its own processors and Intel chips mostly because Intel still does a better job than Apple potentially would on the high end in terms of graphics processing and more advanced processors for the more expensive Mac Pro and MacBook Pro. Uh, but I believe you'll start seeing in the first half of 2021 transition to products like the MacBook Air, maybe some other entry-level desktop computers to the Apple chip. What does this mean in terms of Apple's bottom line? Obviously, we're waiting on some new phones later this year that you've reported on, but talk to us about how these devices generally shore up the overall portfolio strategy. Yeah, so this is very important to, you know, Apple's strategy of building more components in-house and having much stronger control over its whole ecosystem. If it was up to Apple, they'd basically have no component partners, right? They really want to build everything on their own. You can see that over time they've been building and designing more and more parts, and so this is a continuation of that. But at the same time, this is the most ambitious effort, right? Mac processors is, is, is a very, very difficult game, right? Being able to build a, a chip for you know, a full-fledged computer is, is a bit more advanced than building one for a phone or an iPad or an Apple Watch or a TV, right? So this is a very advanced uh, undertaking for Apple. It's been in the works for many years. It's a very cross-company collaborative effort, and they're going to pull it off, it seems, and it's going to be significant for the company's you know, very you know, long-term future.